Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we all hate change. So we just basically crack it and uh, escape the matrix. So here is the question I posted in my community just uh, yesterday. So this is a question from the Fiji ideas. It's a pretty good application of the work power energy question. So first let's understand the question. It said that a cube of volume one meter cube and specific gravity two. And specific gravity two means the row of the cube by row of water equal to two. And it said is very slowly being lowered into the lake with the help of a massless string tied to one of its vertices as shown. Initially the vertex V is touching the surface of the water. This is touching the surface of the water. Uh, but now first let understand the construction of the cube. The cube is uh, not uh, tied like this. Okay, the cube uh, the cube is not tied like this. The cube is tied with one of its this thing. So it just basically the cube is like a uh, cube like this is its diagonal. This, the, the cube is like uh, this type. Uh, means I just freshly draw it. And you just uh, yes this is the way the cube is hanging so basically the length the distance from this point to this point is the vertical that means this diagonal like this diagonal is the vertical length okay so uh, this is the main problem in understanding this question but the people don't understand the construction of the cube so this is the thing now uh, it said that we have to find work done by the gravity on water uh, plus cube system, work done by the tension in the cube, work done by the gravity <coughs> on the water and work done by the gravity on the cube. Now uh, one can do just by integration that, uh, that uh, T is exactly equal to mg minus the band force. Then uh, one will go like T into ds, would be mg minus fb into ds uh, integration. But as the construction of this cube is complex so we if we just go by this we actually it, it will be hard to find the fraction of the cube inside as a function of x right so this buoyant force will be uh, the defining of the buoyant force as a function of x will be hard so we use in these questions the work for energy system so that we can avoid the integration so let me first uh, tell you the concept suppose this is an arbitrary looking body okay so this is the center of mass of it from the upper part so if i just uh, uh, drown it and this comes like this so you uh, and the water level suppose uh, rises by del h okay as this is a big lake so this will be very small this will be very small let it be d del h now you understand that the, there was some water here right there was some water here which gets upgraded to here and its center of mass is at this position like it same its center of position is this position and it just gets upgraded to that part and uh, the del h we can ignore as it is very small as it's a big lake so del h we can ignore so what would be the work done by the gravity work done by the gravity would be the minus of del right the minus of del u will be the work done by the gravity now <coughs> what will be the del u del u would be in uh, this mass into g into uh, how much this is drowning this part plus this part so this is the length this is drowning so that's why uh, mg into uh, in this case uh, this uh, this length and this length is same this is an arbitrary body but in this case as uh, this is the cube this cm is exactly in the midpoint and this total length would be root 3 as it's a corner of the cube so this length would be root 3 by 2 and this length would be also root 3 by 2 so if we just down it this center of mass will be lowered by 2 root 3 by 2 as you can see this will be 2 root 3 by 2 this total length will be 2 root 3 by 2 and the water of this part will rise to root 3 by 2 so we just do the delu part that is minus v c uh, the uh, s into this row of water uh, what is s is it's just the uh, specific gravity we have to find the uh, 
density of the solid so minus vc into solid into no water into g2 and into root 3 because the delu is uh, negative because it's coming down right and the water of this part is getting upwards which is uh, rho water into volume of the of, of the cube uh, of this uh, anything uh, this, in this thing it's cube so volume of the cube into uh, rho of water into g and this is uh, coming by root 3 by 2 and this is going down by root 3 and this is coming up by root 3 by 2, 3. So now we just calculate it as a, it's a calculation I can see and this coming as minus 3 root 3 by 2 into 10 to the power 4. This is easy and we uh, find the del u part. Now we have already said that work done by gravity is equal to minus del u. So uh, it's coming minus 3 root 3 by 2 into 10 to the power 4. So work done by gravity would be its uh, negative. So it would be uh, 3 root 3 by uh, 2 into 10 to the power 4 a to p. Then it's uh, said that work done by gravity on water. Work done by gravity on, on water would be exact negative of this part. Right. This is work done by gravity of water a minus. But here uh, there is a mistake. They did not have the minus signs. It will be minus, but it's okay. Uh, they probably wanted to deal with the magnitude in this case. Work done by gravity on the cube would be like this. This will be of this minus. This will be plus three root three root ten to the power four, as you can see. <coughs> Sorry, it will be plus two root three root ten to the power four. This part. Uh, so as you can see and uh, and now what how we find the work done by the tension now if we think this cube and that part of water as a system the net work done uh, the forces acting on it are only the gravitational forces and the tension and uh, it's uh, as it's uh, ignore the change in kinetic energy of the water as there is no um, mechanical energy not mechanical energy there is no kinetic energy evolved so net work done by the forces so net work done by the forces must be zero thus work done by the tension plus work done by the gravity has to be zero and uh, this is if it was known it's weight and tension only now if uh, it's exact negative would be the work done by tension would be exact negative of the work done by the gravitational force so that's it this is about this is a pretty ITS problem it's a pretty good problem it's a pretty good application of the uh, work power energy theorem thank you please share and subscribe uh, my channel